Hey guys, today I am going to talk how to avoid the next meta zoo. It's like a game of poker. As long as you're not all in on something, you can still play the next hand, right? Meta zoo, I feel like a lot of content creators, they don't like me because I made money from magic at the same time that they lost everything from meta zoo. Uh, take uh, the 82, no, $820 booster box of Nightfall first edition. I bought four dual lands, four underground seas. The buy list for underground sea now is around 600. So I took my $800 and turned that into today um, $2,400. MetaZoo people took their $800, $820 and turned it into almost nothing. Maybe $20 if they are lucky. And that's why they dislike me, right? Because again, you know, I told people very long time ago, you can check my videos. It wasn't just recently. I've been telling people for a long time and the MetaZoo crowd was extremely, you know, it's kind of like these shit coins, right? You tell them, hey, your coin is shit and they get so mad at you and all they do is leave the same hateful comments, right? Well, um, you invested in MetaZoo. You're the idiot. <laughs> you know, I, I love how the MetaZoo content creators, they made videos saying, hey, MetaZoo's dead already. Don't kick it. You didn't learn your mother effing lesson. You're investing in Nom Nomverse, you idiots. Like, like <laughs> expecting Nom Nomverse to go to the moon, right? Uh, reality check, Alpha Investments promoting this new game called Sorcery, not Nom Nomverse. Maybe it'll do Nom Nomverse in the future. Who knows? Maybe he's in discussions right now. But here's some things that I really want to make clear to you is there is a way to de or to mitigate your risk. So Nick strength in Pokemon credit to him. What he did was he bought MetaZoo. He sold enough MetaZoo. So he was at break even. And at that point he didn't just enjoyed a hobby. So he didn't think it was an investment to the moon. In fact, I think some of the highest sales for, I think the Mothman or whatever he was selling was the highest price point. So he he would did it the correct way. That that is the correct way to do it. Is if you do want to get into the hype, buy the stuff early, buy the stuff early, then sell it at the peak and then enjoy the rest of the things, right? That's smart. That's the way to do it on this very speculative thing. Most MetaZoo people did not do that. They just held, held and held and held and and now they're blaming people who are making fun of them because they think that's our, you know, I, when I made fun of you two years ago, you guys would rub in the face. Oh, look at this. Eight, $8,200 Rudy kid. Look at this. Oh, wow. Mothman for a million bucks. Well, I mean, the numbers don't lie. And the numbers are really, really bad as I'm showing to you right now. They're really, really bad. I want to kind of just give them a little bit of you know they are victims and they're lashing out against anyone who will listen to them which is only me alpha investments is deleting metazoo videos you think he's going to make another one shout out to you guys no here's the thing guys it's okay to make mistakes in business and in life as long as we learn the takeaways from them. And that's something that Alpha Investment's not going to do. Steve Aoki's not going to do. Nobody's going to do for you, but I will do for you. Because I care about you MetaZoo content creators. And obviously you watch the channel because this channel gets more views on its MetaZoo content than any current active channel. It does. Just math, guys. Don't hurt yourself over it. Um... What we can learn is you must be careful when speculating on a penny stock. A penny stock does not have good IP. It does not have a good business practice. It doesn't have any of this, but you can get lucky, right? Like there are shit coins that go up, people dump them and they made money. You can get lucky on the worst cryptocurrency in existence. You can. But you got to break even. So, like I said, the way that Nick Strength and Pokemon did it, beautifully done. What most people get is they get greedy. They get that little greed monster, right? That little Rudy greed monster. 
anyone who paid $820 for a recent box, I know it's like a quote bundle, but it's basically what you wanted was the Nightfall First Edition booster box. You're effing greedy. Guys, this is a new card game. This is the second set of a new card game. Right, Cryptid Nation was one, Nightfall was number two. What is wrong with you? So when Pokemon came out with, what was it, Jungle, did they charge $500 or $820 for a booster box? When Yu-Gi-Oh! came out with its second thing, did it charge that much money a booster box? Did any other card game you know of that is successful today, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, One Piece, right? Were they charging this much money for their second booster box? I don't know about One Piece. I know that One Piece, they, they, they got a lot of hype, and Bandai being Bandai probably didn't make enough. But I do know that Yu-Gi-Oh! prices, because I played during Yu-Gi-Oh! I played Blue Eye, White Dragon. I played whatever the next set was, Pharaoh's Servant. It's probably not. It's like Metal Raiders. There's Metal Raiders, I'm pretty sure. Like, I play, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh!, but those packs were retail. Base was definitely retail and was Jungle. Like, no one is paying five times mother effing retail for the second set. No one's paying, what was it? First edition Kickstarter was $10,000. No one's going to pay 10, no, not, oh shit, it's 100 times what the MSRP is for that product, right? You could buy for $100 Kickstarter, now the product's $10,000. Like, if you're all about, oh, meta zoo to the moon, you got to look at that and say, well... This is uh, not real. This price point that we currently have is too high because none of these games, which are fantastic games, by the way, started at that price point. That was greed. That was greed, right? The only reason that you're going to pay $500 for a first edition Monarch booster box that's worth $80 today or $820 for a first edition Nightfall booster box it's because you must have thought it would be worth more today. It's not because you wanted to open it. It's not because you wanted to, you know, you love cryptids all of a sudden. You know, no, 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 no. You were an investor. That was an investment. And I can prove it's an investment because of price point. When we were opening mother effing Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic cards, they were at retail. I remember Radio Sack free for $10 for any Pokemon or Magic cards they had or even Yu-Gi-Oh! sets they had. Remember going to Target. Even Target was like three dollars in some sense a pack. That was a game. Once you start making an investment, you got to be very careful because that's how you're going to get burned. Because you can spend a lot more money on an, you can justify spending more money on an investment than a game. And that's why so many people bought into the idea that. Meta, they, they should be hoarding MetaZoo because one day it could be worth a ton of money. It was never a game, guys.